What's up, Passive Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a back and biceps workout. The only equipment required for today's routine are dumbbells. And you may want to have a few pairs of dumbbells on hand to switch up the weight as needed. You'll also want a towel available for one of the movements. If you're ready to begin, let's do it. All right, let's begin with a warm up. The first one's gonna be a little sequence. It's called a T, I, and a Y. We're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart, a little bend in our knees, hinging at our hips. And now starting with our arms straight down and our pinkies up, we're gonna do what's called a T. So let's bring those pinkies straight up and return them back down. Feeling a good stretch, getting a full range of motion on this one. Loosening up our chest, shoulders, and back on this one move here. You'll probably notice as you go through it that each subsequent repetition, you'll get a little looser. And three, two, one. All right, let's move into the next one. In the same position, we're gonna do an I. So now let's have our thumbs up, bring our arms straight up, Finishing with our biceps by our ears. Oh, this one's always the most difficult for me. Especially when your shoulders are tight and your <laughs> back is tight. This one's gonna loosen up our traps, our lats, our shoulders, and again, our chest. Trying to get full range of motion. Again, goal is those biceps are finishing by your ears. For oh. three, two, one, relax. It's a okay. good move. Last one in our sequence, we're gonna do a Y. So we're gonna keep those thumbs up. And now we're gonna bring our arms up and kind of in between the last two. So if you were doing a YMCA dance, this would be that Y for you older folks in the crowd. Who I was gonna say, you really aged yourself on that one. Uh, well, you know, it was only a matter of time before I did that, <laughs> folks. Again, get that forwards of motion all the way up. Let's do this one for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Stand up, shake it loose. All right, we got one more in our little back warm up here. We're gonna do what's called a rope pull. So let's sit back just ever so slightly with our weight in our hips. We're gonna reach with your right hand as far as you can reach, stretching that lat, big muscle under your arm, and now pull back from the elbow. Opposite arm, reach, pull. So again, we're pretending like we're pulling on a rope. Hence the name, Rope Pulls. Just pretend you're a pantomime, theater <laughs> arts class. Yeah. You're pulling a rope. <laughs> That's a good visualization. <laughs> Full yeah. range of motion, pull that elbow all the way back and then get a big stretch like you're trying to pull from the furthest point on the furthest point away from you on that rope. Again, loosening up those muscles, warming up our body. Working on those theater art skills. Working on those theater art skills. What aren't we <laughs> achieving today, folks? In five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, excellent. Warm up is complete. Let's get on with our workout. Gonna burn up the back and biceps today. We're gonna do today's workout with supersets. We're gonna go back and forth between a back exercise and a biceps exercise. Our first back exercise of the day is a self-supported single arm dumbbell row. Say that 10 times fast. Wow, you're good. Well, you know. It's almost like you've been doing this for like 20 years or something. You know, that's, that's about right. We need just <laughs> one dumbbell for this one and it's gonna be a heavier dumbbell. We're gonna set up in a split stance. So let's put our right foot back, bend in both knees, 
Left hand is gonna go on our hip. We're gonna hinge at our hip on about a 45 degree angle. Now with that right straight arm down, we're gonna pull back from that elbow, full range of motion, squeeze the back of the top, and return back down. We're gonna do this one together for 10 repetitions. Ready? And begin. Pulling back from the elbow, not from the hand. There is a big difference on that. And you're finishing with that dumbbell around your hip. So if you're finishing with a dumbbell by your chest, ah, then you're not pulling on the correct plane. Keep your abs tight and don't twist on this one. And don't use any momentum to bring that dumbbell up either. If you're having to use momentum, then you might just want to reduce your weight a little bit. Great point. And one more right here. And there's 10, excellent. Okay, same move, we need to switch up sides. So same move on the left side now. Again, get set up, right foot in front, left foot in back, bend in both knees, bend over in a 45 degree angle, and begin. Exhale as you bring that dumbbell up. That's it, focusing on our breathing. We're not holding our breath here today. And as you come down, don't allow that shoulder to reach down, right? Keeping those shoulders square. Three more. Squeeze that back up at the top. A nice contraction up at the top. Last one. And there is 10. Nice work. Okay, we can set that dumbbell down. We're moving into our first biceps exercise, which is a hammer curl. We need two dumbbells, and more than likely, the weight that you choose is gonna be lighter than the weight that you were just using on that single arm dumbbell, or I'm sorry, yeah, on that single arm dumbbell row. <sighs> Catch your breath. <laughs> Thank you. Shoulders are back, dumbbells are at our sides. We're gonna start with our palm, or keep our palms facing one another as we come up. Dumbbells come all the way up to our shoulders, and then return back down doing this one for 12 repetitions under control. Under control. Ready? And begin. Full range of motion. I'm using no momentum again, no swinging, or using the rest of your body or legs to bring those dumbbells up to your shoulders. And the temptation throughout today's routine is gonna be to like wanna relax on the way down, where you almost just let the dumbbells, here's the demonstration, whoop, flop down. But a lot of our work is done on that eccentric or lowering phase of the movement. So we wanna control the way down as well as the way up. You're halfway there, six more to go. All right, feeling good already. I'm sensing a killer back and bicep pump by the end <laughs> of today. That's, that's the plan. Making sure to breathe, you're breathe, inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Keep those shoulders back. Ooh, I'm starting to feel it. Number 10. And that's where you want to feel it. With a 12 repetition goal by eight, nine, 10, you should be feeling it. Last one. Nice job. And if you're not feeling it until the 12th repetition, or we're not feeling it at all, you need to increase that weight. All right, so we're moving back to our first exercise, which is that single arm dumbbell row. Here's your opportunity to change the weight up. So if the weight that you used last time wasn't challenging, increase it. If it was too challenging, decrease the weight. Starting in that staggered stance, we have 10 repetitions here. Again, place my left hand on my hip, 45 degree angle, abs are tight and hold it there, and begin. Pull that dumbbell back from the elbow, and now as you have been using for over a decade, like you have a string attached to that elbow, and you're that string is pulling back from the elbow. And that's gonna ensure that we are activating the correct muscle groups here that we're looking to. Breathing in on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Squeeze that back to the top. Last one right here. And there's 10, very good. All right, switch it up, same move. Opposite arm now. And three. Two, one, begin. Keeping both knees bent. Head, Remembering to breathe. Head in line with the spine. We don't want our head cranked up. Core is engaged. And yes, we are getting a little bit of leg activation on this one too. 
We'll call that extra credit. Two more to go. Here we go, last two. Make a count, Hasfit Tribe. Ah, excellent work. Okay, dumbbell down. Keeping this pace up here. Now we're moving on to our hammer curl. Again, two dumbbells, same as last time. If it wasn't challenging enough, increase your weight. Too challenging, decrease it. That's You'll right. Make this workout work for you. A couple of big deep breaths here. We have 12 repetitions to go. If you're ready, let's do it. Palms facing in the whole time. And your wrists are nice and locked in. Oh yeah, no floppy wrists here. Yeah, or noodle wrists. Noodle wrists, that's a good one. Yeah, nice and locked in. This is not only working your biceps, this is also working your forearms and your grip as well. We also want to remember to keep our elbows locked in tight to our body as well. Don't want those elbows flaring out. Great point. And if they are flaring out, it may, may mean that you're using too much weight and you're compensating. I know, half the battle I think is just trying to figure out what weight works best for what exercise. And you'll notice, you know, oftentimes we get feedback, well, what weight should I use? But every single oh, body yeah. is different. It's really part of the learning experience yep. when it comes to strength training, is understanding where your strength levels are and what weights are appropriate for you for different movement patterns. All right, after this, you have one more repetition. Here we go, last one. Squeeze them at the top and control the way down. Nice job. Let's get our next superset started with a Duffin row. We are gonna need two dumbbells and a light weight. I'm can't, going as light as I can go personally. I can't stress that enough. You can always <laughs> go up, but on this one, it's gonna be harder to go down. Mm -hmm. So, and if uh, you don't have a super lightweight, maybe even water bottles works. So shoulders are back on this one, good posture. We're gonna start with those dumbbells uh, and our palms facing us, and we're gonna point those dumbbells straight down, right? So it's just a little tweak of the wrist there. Point the dumbbells down. Now we're gonna let our elbows lead the way. Elbows come up until we can't bring them up anymore, and then in a controlled fashion, flip the dumbbells over, and then reverse back down. We're gonna do this duff and row for 12 repetitions. Ready and begin again. Elbows are leading the way at the top. Pull them back and reverse the move. Excellent. You can tell we're gonna do this one slow and controlled. This one's gonna work our upper back, our traps, our rear deltoids, all getting some great work. Even a little rotator cuff working on this one. Yeah, so don't mind the faces that I'm making over here but I am counting, so <laughs> this one yeah. is a little pinchy for me. Anytime you do anything that like is a upright row or engages the traps like this, it's like you get that crazy dirt face, <laughs> which is great because it's like not like we're on camera in front of millions of people or anything. No, so, no, just. Hey, but the good news is you're probably comfortable at home. You don't have to worry about what your face looks like. <laughs> Again, under control, let those elbows lead the way. So it's like you're pulling up again from your elbows, not from your hands. And by now, probably feeling a little burning sensation. A little bit. And that's how we know it's working. That is appropriate. Okay, two more to go. And if not, then increase the weight. And honestly, with three pounds, whew, I'm really feeling it. Really, really feeling it. Okay, one more. Last one right here. And control <laughs> the way back down. All right, that's 12, excellent. All right, next up, biceps move. We are gonna do a one, three tempo dumbbell curl. And so um, you might wanna use a slightly lower weight than you usually would for a dumbbell curl, only because we're gonna do a slower tempo. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Elbows are in at our sides, <sighs> palms are facing up. We're gonna go one second on the way up, one 1,000. But then here's the kicker. One, two, three seconds on the way down. Again, one 1,000, and then one, two, three. We're doing this one for 10 repetitions. Ready and begin. One 1,000, one, two, three. Saying it to yourself so I don't have to repeat it a million <laughs> times. Again, it would be so much easier just to allow the dumbbells to flop down, but one of the keys in strength training and 
and also to, to build lean muscle is time under tension. And this exercise accomplishes that very well. Okay, and remember not to use any momentum to bring these weights up to your shoulders. Nice and controlled. That's right, all, all the way up. throughout. Yep, there you go. Dumbbells are locked into your side, I'm sorry, your elbows are locked into <laughs> your sides. Not the dumbbells, that would be weird. Breathing in slowly on the way down and exhaling on that one 1,000. Okay, one more to go after this one. Here we go, last one, number 10. And under control, one, two, three. All right, feeling Ooh. good, getting that blood flow going. Hope you all are as well. Back to that duff and row, so we're gonna need that lighter dumbbell for this one. And this one is performed for 12 repetitions. We're working different muscle groups here, so we're able to keep the pace up. Shoulders are back. Those dumbbells are, boom, pointed down. I like that little sound effect. And begin. Elbows come up first, and then pull them over. Control throughout the whole move here. Again, working those traps, which are those big, beefy back muscles in your upper back, connected to your neck, <laughs> as well as your ro rotator cuffs, rear deltoids. Excellent. You got it here. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath and don't rush it. Try. And there's no shame in dropping your weights completely if you need to. Yeah. Just getting comfortable with the movement. Yeah, if you burn yourself out early, <laughs> drop the weights and just do the movement with body weight. And honestly, you will feel sometimes just using your body weight is enough to, to really activate those muscles. Well, if you think about it, our arms have weight, right? Oh, yeah. So it's not like, not like we're on the moon and there's no gravity. All right, we have one more to go. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, under control. Last one, and done. No more of those today, I promise. We yes. do, however, have our one, three tempo dumbbell curls. Okay. And if you against... need to mix up the weight, are you going the same weight? I am against right. my better judgment, but here we go. <laughs> I think I can do it. Oh, Claudia's choosing violence today. All yes. right, palms are forward, elbows are in, and here we go for 10 repetitions. One 1,000, and then one, two, three, that's it. This one is working both bicep heads, a little grip as well. Oh yeah, for sure. Nice stretch. It's a great movement for both strength as well as hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is a fancy word for gaining lean muscle. You're so smart. It's a, oh, well, you know, thank you. <laughs> thank you, wifey. You know, I don't get a lot of those compliments from wifey, so I got to. Oh, I gotta, my I got, glad gosh. I got, glad I got this one on camera, folks. Okay, number I'm gonna six. I'm going to record it. Four more to go. I'm going to put it on my phone and just watch it on loop. <laughs> Hope we're distracting you well, well enough to not think about your biceps hurting right now. All right, one more. Number 10, control it, control it, control it, control it. Yes. Nice work, Tribe. All right, do you remember that towel that we mentioned in the introduction? Well, yes. if you forgot, now's a good time to pause the video and go grab it, because we are gonna need it for this next one that one towel, we're gonna to perform a move called a pronate towel pullback. So pronate refers to the, our position, which is gonna be down on the ground on our stomachs and chest. So let's go ahead and come on down. And we're gonna take the towel and we're gonna grab it on both sides, far ends, just maybe a little wider than shoulder width grip. Arms are extended out in front of us. I want you to squeeze your glutes. We're gonna keep your glutes squeezed throughout. Bring your chest up off the floor. And now, pulling the towel apart, we're gonna bring it to your chest and return. So the whole time, you're pulling the towel apart, like you're trying to rip it apart from the, the seams end to end. We're gonna do this one for 15 repetitions. Doesn't look like much, but trust oh. me, it'll get you. I'm scared. But yeah, let's do it. You can do it, Claudia. We have I faith know. in you. I can. Okay, ready? 
flex those glutes and begin. Pulling it to the chest and again, pulling apart end to end. Pulling back on those elbows, full range of motion. You're gonna feel this one work your lower back as well as your upper back, our lats, our rhomboids, all getting hit on this one. Extending those arms straight, full range of motion, and then all the way to the chest. I'm already feeling it. Number nine. It's about where you should really start to feel some of that burn. Keep pulling apart. Keep pulling apart. That's number 12. Now holding our breath, breathing throughout. There's 14. One more. And 15. Oh, excellent. Oh. Might be the toughest one of the day, which is kind of crazy because... I'm just going to lay here for a minute. Because we're oh. using the towel. All right. We can set that towel to the side. So that was our back movement. You know the drill. Now we have a bicep movement. It's called a cross body dumbbell curl. We need two dumbbells for this one. We're going to do 12 repetitions on each arm. Mm -hmm. So our shoulders are back. Good posture to start. Let's start with our right arm. We're going to bring our right arm across, drags across the body, and return back down. Left arm, drag it across the body, and return back down. So again, 12 on each arm, so 24 in total. Ready, and yes. begin. Again, one 1,000 on the way up. We're going to go one 1,000 on the way down on this. Still, it's still controlled but we're not taking as much time as we did on that tempo curl just a moment ago. Full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down. And that elbow comes across your body. Almost like you wanna keep that dumbbell in contact with your body throughout the whole move. That's a good visual. Yeah, it's like almost like you're dragging it across the body. That's the halfway mark right there. Again, one 1,000, one 1,000. Both ends of the move. The biceps are starting to pump. I like <laughs> it. It's the time of the workout where Coach Kozak uses his terrible Australian, or not Australian, Austrian accent. See, I don't even know what I'm talking about over here. I think it's because all, all my blood's going to my biceps. None of it's making it to my brain anymore. <laughs> it doesn't matter what accent he's trying to um, make. It always sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hey, are quiet. there any other accents that matter? <laughs> that matter? <laughs> Not on back and biceps day. All right, uh, not many left, folks. One more. Here we go. <laughs> and last one. All right, good news, bad news. Good news is those are done. Bad news. We have some more pronate towel pullbacks coming your way. Good news is it's the last set of It's these. the last one, only two <laughs> times. So one down, one to go, Let's folks. Let's finish it with some good news, come on. Okay, I like that, it's okay. be positive here. All right, coming down to the floor yet again. I'm grabbing that towel on either side. Again, flex those glutes on this one. It's gonna take a little bit of pressure off the lower back. The lower back will still work, but we do wanna engage those glutes. 15 times in three, two, one, and pull. You got it. Excellent. Breathe. Go to your happy place on this one. Just as good a time as any to think about what brought you here today. What is it? What are your goals? What's that why? Whether you want to get buff, you want to get trim, you just want to be able to kick butt at life, whatever it is. Start thinking about it here. Think about how great it's going to be when you accomplish those goals. That's right. Five more. Pull apart the whole time. Don't find yourself relaxing. Keep pulling that towel apart. Two more. Almost there. Come on, tribe. Right to the end. Dig deep. Ah, <laughs> and 15. All right. Who knew that one of the hardest moves would just require a towel? Unfortunately, I knew, and I still wrote it in today's workout. You so, sure you did. Know, 
Bit of a masochist, you could say. All right, two dumbbells, cross body curl. Just catching my breath. Don't mind me. All right, shoulders are back. We have 12 on both sides. Big deep breath. Right arm first. Ready? Let's hit it. Again, that dumbbell crosses over. Almost like it's just dragging across the body. Hits the bicep from a different angle than you might usually hit it from. Hopefully gonna stimulate some new, new growth, new strength. That's the plan. Wrists are nice and locked in. Again, no noodle wrists. If the weight is, or if this is too hard for the 12 reps on each side, and then you can decrease the weight. If it's too easy and you get to 12 on each side, 24 in total, and there's no burn and it's easy, increase that weight. Don't be afraid to push yourself on these strength training workouts. We're using good form and challenging yourself when it comes to resistance is how we are going to improve. That's right, challenge, you can't, what is it? Uh, can't spell challenge without change, some corny line like that, but you know there what, you it's very Sounds true. Sounds good to me. It's very true. <laughs> We're almost there. Yep, this is number nine. Three more. Squeeze that Ooh. bicep up at the top. If you need to, you can even stare down at your bicep and say, oh, it's working. <laughs> I like it. You might See, need... he's the comedic relief. You didn't know you needed in the gym. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more. One more. There we are. Almost done. Boom. There it is. Nice work, folks. All right, next superset coming at you. We need one dumbbell for a dumbbell pullover. Probably go a little heavier with this one dumbbell. It is a primarily a back movement, and we're only using so we have two arms, two hands on this one dumbbell. We're gonna sit down on our backside. And for most of you, you wanna use this diamond grip where you kind of make a diamond with your hands, place it on the bottom of the dumbbell, and then bring the dumbbell up. If that doesn't work for you, you can grab it on either side. But for most, this is gonna be your money right Just there. Just do it safely, please. Do it safely. <laughs> sit down or lie down on your backs. We're gonna press that dumbbell straight up. Feet are firmly planted on the floor little bend in our elbows and we're going to stretch those lats as we bring the dumbbell back kiss the floor don't bounce that off the floor and then pull it back up we are performing this one for 12 repetitions in total ready and begin inhale down and as you come back up give it a nice big exhale so this one's working your lats. You're also gonna get a little bit of chest working on this one. Depending on your shoulder mobility, you may not even be able to go down all the way until that uh, dumbbell touches the floor and that's okay. Do it until you, uh, until basically you feel like, you know, you're getting an unhealthy stretch, if that makes sense. So stop before you get an unhealthy stretch. There you go. Yeah, it took me a, it took me a second. It to, out. Took me a second to spit that one out and explain <laughs> it well. AKA, don't hurt your shoulders. Yeah, AKA, you don't. It's not. A, don't stretch it too far. <laughs> a little stretch is healthy, but if you you know feel like your shoulders are falling off, you should probably stop. And actually, I remember the very first time I did this movement, and that was my biggest issue, was just my shoulder lack of shoulder mobility. So keep the top of that dumbbell parallel to the ceiling another good tip so facing straight up that's number nine three more again under control here and feel yourself engaging those lats to pull that dumbbell back up feel them stretch and then use them to pull it back up breathe it in last one and exhaling very good. Okay. Okay. So safely set that dumbbell down to your side and then you can sit up. We're moving into our dumbbell, I'm sorry, our bicep exercise that we're alternating this one with. We are going to need two dumbbells and we're going to do an ISO 90 reverse curl. So maybe about the same weight that you were using on the hammer curl and the cross body curl. 
would be my high level recommendation. This one is an ISO or short for isometric exercise, which means we're just gonna hold a certain position. So elbows are in at our sides, palms are gonna be facing down. We're gonna bring those elbows into our side, elbows are at a 90 degree angle, and we're just gonna hold here for 30 seconds. Holding oh. that position, just a static exercise, gonna burn them out here. I, well, I thought we had already began, but you said. That, that, so. Well, that's how we do it. First we demonstrate and I then know, we get but... started. She's new here, that's okay. And ready <laughs> and begin. Elbows are in at our sides. Claudia's like, oh, that five seconds didn't count? That five seconds really should count. It really, yeah. We should subtract that from the total. All right, elbows okay. are tight to our sides. Stop making me laugh. Our wrists are locked in. No noodle wrists on this one. You're gonna feel those forearms start to blow up on this one as well. Blow up, just close your eyes and go to your happy place, wherever that is. That's it, smile through it, folks. Preferably on a nice warm beach somewhere. <laughs> hey, we all cope in different ways here. And three, two, one, and relax. And relax, all right. Gonna burn those biceps out completely. You can set them down. And now we need that one dumbbell for our dumbbell pullover. Again, adjusting the weight accordingly. You need to increase it, increase it. You need to decrease the weight, decrease it. Making this workout work for you because no two bodies are the same. That's right. We have 12 repetitions on this one. Get that grip going. Control the way down. Press the weight up. A little bend in the elbows that you will maintain throughout the movement. Ready and begin. Full range of motion. As I said, this one's working your lats. Work, it, work the entire back today, everything from your lower back, upper back, all of your rotator cuff muscles, rhomboids. I could go through the whole list, I'll spare you, but we're working your whole back as well as all of your bicep heads. All feeling good, nearing the end, folks. Yeah, we'll, we'll spare you the anatomy class. <laughs> Uh, yes, if you'd like to stick around for after the workout, <laughs> we have some charts we'd like to show you. <laughs> no. uh, Breathe, inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up, that's it. Brings back memories of my a and class, a and 2. <sighs> Anatomy physiology, there you go. Feel those lats stretch and pull back with them. That's number eight, four more. Getting close to the end here. Focus on activating those muscles and not using momentum. Control the way back. Almost there. Almost. Getting stronger with every repetition. Here we go, last one. Make it count. And exhale. And there is 12, nice work. Job. All right, up on our feet. And we have that last set of those ISO reverse, ISO 90 reverse curls. This is just about gonna finish those biceps off. Again, make sure that you're choosing a weight that's appropriate to hold for that 30 seconds. That's gonna push you and challenge you. All right, 30 seconds. And three, two, one. Let's get after it, Hasfit Tribe. Palms stay facing down. And there wrists are nice and tight and locked in and that might be the hardest part for you yeah keeping those wrists up and not allowing them to flop down because that's that forearm strength and hey we can't have strong biceps without strong forearms they're all connected that's right 10 more seconds oh home stretch right here come on Hasbro tribe you got this you got it think about how good it's gonna feel when this is all done and relax nice work all right, Jello high five. <laughs> nice Ow. work out there. That was a good nice one. Nice workout. Oh. Gosh. That's always a good sign when the high five, boom. Um, let's do a cool down, folks. <laughs> We're going to do waterfalls to start. Uh, purpose of our cool down is to get a little added, added mobility work in. And also stretching after your workout can help with soreness or alleviate soreness after a workout. I'll let you know tomorrow. 
elbow is in, palm is straight up. This is called a waterfall. We're gonna pull back on those fingers and then bring our elbow up at the same time, nice and slow, and feel that stretch in your wrist, forearm, biceps, and we're just gonna hold it right there. It's called a static stretch, which we don't usually do at the beginning of a workout, but at the end of a workout, it's great. Mm -hmm. For five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Same move, opposite side. That palm is facing straight up, elbows into our side. Pull back gently on those fingers and then bring the elbow up as we pull back. Oh, that feels real nice. You may have one side that's a little tighter than the yeah, other. Yeah, for sure. No worries, totally common. Just a gentle stretch. You wanna take it to about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. Not pulling back as hard as we can, that's for sure. For three, two, one, zero, shake it loose. All right, this next one is called a wall angel. It can be performed either on a wall or a door. We just need a flat surface that we can put our back up against. So I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna, we're gonna both gonna sit back on the wall, a little bend in our knees so our full body's flat on that wall. And I'm also gonna place my head flat up against that wall. I'm gonna take my straight arms up overhead and try my best to put my whole arm flush up against this wall. And now I'm gonna pull down on my elbows while maintaining contact with my arms and my hands. Do the best that you can. Yep, and we're not great at this. Mm -mm. Um, some people are much better, some people are much worse. Just do the best that you can. You may find have a real hard time keeping contact with the wall and that's okay. The, um, the goal is just to, get, uh, just to keep striving to keep your arms and hands up against the wall while you perform this move, and, and you will feel the mobility effects. Great to loosen up our back and our shoulders, especially after a tough workout. And and especially after our daily lives, honestly. Oh, yeah. Sitting, looking at our phones. At a computer, driving, all of the above. Feels so, real nice. Real nice and uncomfortable at the same time. <laughs> Keep breathing throughout for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Oh, excellent oh, job. So loose. Yes. Nice so work nice. out there, Has Fit Tribe. Thank you so much for working out with us today. And did you know that you can get even faster results by following a complete fitness program? Our exercise programs can be found on the HasFit app, which can be downloaded to your iPhone or Android device, as well as HasFit.com. You can also support us by stopping by our store, picking up some fresh HasFit gear like a t-shirt, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel. Until next time, I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.